What's up guys? My name is Sharp and today I'm bringing you another commentary. I hope you guys enjoyed the last one as much as I did. Uh, it was more of a channel update kind of than it was an actual commentary, but this one's going to be an actual commentary. So what I'm going to talk about is probably going to be controversial. Some of you guys might disagree with me. Some of you guys might agree with me, but I'm going to be talking about my personal opinion about Fortnite pre chapter two. So chapter one, I guess. So this will be my thoughts on the game before I check it out. I've only seen a small amount of footage, mainly from streams. I checked out the map, checked out the map, had a man tear rolled down my face when I saw that Fatal Fields has disappeared. I know you guys know me, and I know you guys know that Fatal Fields is my least favorite drop. I'm just kidding. Favorite drop, hands down, by far. Favorite drop since I started playing. I was told to pick a landing spot Roll with it until you got good at the game. And ever since then, from season two, whenever I started playing, my favorite drop every season. A little summary you get at the end of each season, that, that was on there. Fatal Fields, every single time. I don't know what it was about Fatal Fields, but my favorite spot, I knew it inside and out, and it just kind of stuck. I did see on the new map that there is a Frenzy Farm. Different location, but Fatal Fields, Frenzy Farms seeing connection i'm seeing connection new favorite spot question mark wink wink just imagine me winking and i guarantee you'll sleep peacefully at night or have nightmares either one but we're gonna be talking about my thoughts about fortnite without having played chapter two yet for starters i've been playing since december 2017 and i've played over 5,000 matches might not seem like a lot compared to some of these other players but 5,000 is a lot of matches imagine sitting in front of your tv playing fortnite for 5,000 games. Whether that was solo, duos, or squads, just kind of actually evenly, uh, what do you call it, distributed over all those. That means I've been through it all. At this moment in time, I'm in a very conflicted spot with Fortnite. I'm at the point where I can barely play it for an hour or two before wanting to pull my hair out. Not the rage, just out of straight boredom, dude. Boredom. And it's just, just not fun anymore. I don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how you kids do it. You guys play this game religiously, Maybe started a little bit after I did, and maybe you'll get there in a couple months when it's the equivalent amount of time that passed. Now, given this game ranks second for me for the longest time period of which I played any single game. And in case you guys are curious, the first being RuneScape. I've played RuneScape for seven years on and off. So this is second. Played it since December 2017. Now, when I say this, by no means am I in favor of the casuals as a complete competitive players would say i'm a casual player but i'm a competitive person so i kind of understand both sides but i also see where all the competitive players and all the sweaty players as people would call them i see where they're coming from slowly but surely the game definitely went in favor of the casuals which is not the side i'm rooting for whether it was turbo building the spray and pray drum gun drum gun era all the way up to the mechs and this is probably the most unpopular opinion you guys will hear from anyone but the addition of turbo building was a decline for me and i didn't realize it at the time but now looking back on it ever since turbo building the start of turbo building the game's just kind of been going downhill obviously statistically it's been going up but as a player it wasn't good not that i didn't like it but it allowed anybody to hold a button down and be perfectly fine perfectly safe obviously it's more than that now but the gist of it turbo building and for me at this point the skill gap was gone also this is more of a personal thing it doesn't really affect anybody else but i'm not able to keep up with these kids that go to school get out by three play fortnite for eight hours and now people are building five star hotels in two seconds the only thing that I got going for me, for the most part, is my aim. I can't outbuild a lot of these people that play nowadays. And and for Fortnite, you can have good aim, but if you don't know how to build, you're in a whole different ball game. Now I'm not complaining when I'm saying this; merely an observation. Obviously, I didn't know turbo. Actually, up until now, I didn't even realize turbo building is what did it. But looking back on the game, turbo building broke the game. And this is also an unpopular opinion. When Epic just recently nerf turbo building i was actually having fun believe it or not at that point it was less about building and more about aim and like i just said my aim is good but my building is not not to mention these kids arms these 13 year old kids that are still young small whatever not to mention their arms are lighter than a final mouse moving at light speed across their mouse pad while i'm over here with my girthy ass arm struggling to move it across my mouse pad but in all seriousness 
It's time for a change, and I hope oh I can have some enjoyment, even if it's for a little bit out of chapter two. I will be playing this Saturday, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, the date of this Saturday is October 19th. I will be playing Fortnite on stream with viewers. See how I like it. Everybody's saying that it's a new game. They're having fun. People are loving it. Ninja, I saw him tweet out saying he's loving chapter two. I don't know. I haven't really seen enough or play. I haven't played at all to make an uh, opinion for myself, but we'll see this Saturday. I won't be able to play that much, I guess, before Call of Duty comes out. Like I said in the last video, I'll be mainly playing that, grinding that game. Uh, but I do want to at least check out Fortnite up until then. There's still another week, so plenty of time. But after Call of Duty comes out, that does not mean I won't be playing Fortnite. It just means I'll be grinding COD. Just like I've been grinding Fortnite over the years, I want to be grinding COD. Now, I hope all the knowledge and experience I've gathered up until this point is the edge that I need to grow my channel. We'll see. I know some of you guys will be joining me for the grind, and I know some of you guys will be playing Fortnite. In the comments below, let me know what you guys think about Chapter 2, and if you guys will be getting COD, or continuing to play Fortnite, or both. Kind of interested to know what my community thinks and what they'll be doing. And if you're also new, checking out the channel for the first time, please let me know what you're going to be doing as well. If you guys stuck around until the end, I hope you enjoy the video. Let me know by clicking like and subscribe. And I said this in the last video, but I do stream on Twitch now. I'll leave the link in the description below. Link to my Twitter and Discord are down there as well. If you want to drop a follow and join the Discord there, I would appreciate it. If you guys use my creator code in the item shop, it helps me out a ton more than you know. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.